What's up, guys? Kennedy Club. Welcome back to some more Soul Calibur 2 Weapon Master Mode. From when I left off, we took on the extra mission Phantom Cave in Chapter 8. And today, I will take on extra Chapter 1, Castor. And let's give Heihachi a go again. We'll use this outfit. And this time, we use his ultimate weapon, Tekken. A true warrior only needs one's fist. Ah, uh, excellent. Alright, let's go. Castor. Extra chapter. Swordman's Grave. Swordman's... Swordsman's Grave. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, actually this... Okay, yeah. Crouch or jump to avoid the effects of the frequent earthquakes. Defeat the enemy under this condition. Oh, okay, at least only one condition. Here. Versus Cervantes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, two souls are, are fiercely, fiercely entangled. entangled. Who do you think you are? Do not defy me. Final battle. Oh. Alright, that was easy. That's all you've got. All you've got? Not even worth my breath. Extra time attack. Extreme! Gateway to hell. Monetary prize doubles each way. Gauge your strength and win the matches. Oh goody, one of these that I can probably skip, right? Versus Shanghua. <laughs> now, two souls. What can what you can you do? Battle one. Fight! And the battle in the seats is coming. I don't care about gold. I've already made perfectly clear that I don't care about the gold. Swordman's Grave. Alright, let's get the extra. Defeat the enemy under unknown conditions. Alright. Unknown conditions. If only that means we fought unknown from Tekken. <laughs> A hero desires a sword, and, and a, a sword, sword desires, desires truth. Who do you think you are? Following your despair. Following your despair. Battle. Fight. That was easy. <laughs> Enemy is quick and you cannot guard. Blocking disabled! Blocking disabled! <laughs> this is one of my favorite moments from Maximilian Dudes Mortal Kombat 9 Boss Rage. Blocking disabled! Give up already! You can give up already? That's what you can do? Alright. Neat. That's nice of you. Also, your health is going down. So is mine. Actually, my health gradually declines. Or is that just the... End the battle, let's see if I'm not. I don't care. Here we go. New feature unlocked. Iron Hero. Class up. What do we get? The Bamboo Staff. The joke weapon for Kulik. Yeah, it's probably a good thing that I don't spend money on the... Uh, I don't spend money in the shop right now just because I can still get some of these weapons even through normal means. Conquer this uncharted dungeon. Oh, it's a five star difficulty. You know what? Bring it on! Uh, 
Uncharted Dungeon. Du, 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 du. The fighters face a du, 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 du. quest to in the last video how like I was wondering if this came out in between four, Tekken 4 and Tekken 5 and uh, Heihachi's key outfit here looks more similar to the Tekken 4 design where he has like the bandages all around his hand instead of just on his wrist like even the way it looks it's more like Tekken 4 like the actual gi so yeah, this was probably between 4 and 5. And they just decided to bring back one of his outfits from 3. In the same way that 5 decided to bring back his, like, the those fight. pants. That pants look. Oh, 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 no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yeah. This is just a straight line. No. What can hey, my fellow Tekken buddy. Fight. Looking forward to trying you out in uh, Tekken 8. Even though I've never been too much of a Yoshimitsu player. I like Yoshimitsu, of course. Like, who doesn't like Yoshimitsu? He's cool. But... Never played them all that much. Well, I did, but, you know, not as much as, like, say, the Mishimas or Paul or Jack. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but in Tekken 8, Yoshimitsu is actually going to get quite a few moves from Soul Calibur. And since I actually really enjoyed using Yoshimitsu in Soul Calibur 6, that works out nicely. <laughs> yeah, like Soul Calibur 6 Yoshimitsu was probably the most fun I've ever had using Yoshimitsu in Soul Calibur. No. There was a lot of fun in that game. What can you do? So I have my expectations high to have Tekken 8 Yoshimitsu be the best Tekken Yoshimitsu. Oh, that crap range though. Still my favorite. Still my favorite English voice for Hayashi. Good old Kevin Michael Richards. I already mentioned it before, he's my favorite English voice actor for Hayashi. Actually, kind of sounds like I don't trust your noble soul in your sword. Just a bit, just a bit lower pitched. Quit now, if you want to live. Final battle, fight. <laughs> Can you talk a big game for a Soul Calibur spot on. In my way. Now I've been thinking about this. I feel like uh, when it comes to, oh, I know this isn't related to Soul Calibur, but like, I feel like when it comes to Tekken, some of my favorite characters in, the, in that franchise are characters that are incredibly, incredibly cocky and they have like a big ego on them, but they can actually back it up. They can actually back up that attitude with their skills. Like, you got characters like Paul Phoenix and Baron, and uh, the new character Reyna looks like she's a big deal. 
And she's got a real cocky personality. From all I've seen of her. You're hurting yourself there. You're in my way. Yeah, Raphael was hurting himself there. He was like separating his elbow every time he swung that sword. Well, more like separating his shot, I guess. But yeah, that's one of my favorite things about Tekken is the cocky character that can actually back up their uh, hero. cockiness. It's one of the reasons why I love uh, Vegito and Gogeta a lot in Dragon Ball. Because unlike Gotenks, they can actually back up their ego. Freaking Gotenks. The worst fusion in the series. Because they accomplishes absolutely nothing. <laughs> Except make things worse. Grave extra mission its own video again. Now, who do you think you are? Final battle, fight! characters in Tekken like Paul Paul always calls himself the toughest in the universe but to be completely fair to him he does have merit to his claims no. you actually saved me there Astroff I think I might have uh, gotten rung out there if you decided not to grab me there Ah ha ha! Oh, screw my way! How'd I get here? Ah, oh, the soul of its complete weapon for Astaroth. But yeah, Paul has only ever lost twice canonically in the entire series. He lost to Kazuya in Tekken 1 and he lost to Kuma in Tekken 4. Other than that, he's never lost. I can only assume he didn't lose in 6 or 7. 6 never really... 6 never really explains like what happened to him. Like, maybe like the tournament got cancelled with Jin disappearing or something like that. But, uh... Seven makes it clear that they canceled the tournament. And then there's Huarong, who, according to his uh, biography, and going into Tekken 8, he's actually defeated Devil Tim. He's like the only character in the entire series right now who can proudly say that. Okay, bye, Taki. That's all you've got. But Huawang's the only character in the entire series that can actually say that he beat Devil Jin. Then again, Kazuya also defeats Devil Jin in the first chapter of Tekken 8's story. Which I probably will uh, record again just for the heck of it. I know I've already recorded the first chapter just because I played it in the demo, but I might just record it again just for the sake of feeling a bit more complete. 
to like just do it again in the full version and then to also like maybe have slightly different gameplay compared to the first one. Oh, I almost fell off there. Oh. Get lost, get my way. I had to be patient there. Just wait for the right moment. And then of course there's Rada. Yeah, she's got an incredibly cocky attitude. From what we've seen it for so far. But, uh, you final battle. Fight. All, all but directly stated that she's related to Heihachi, and Heihachi's one of the strongest characters in the entire series, so... <laughs> Yeah, it's fair to say that she is quite skilled. <laughs> like, from what I've seen, people are already getting their early copies of uh, Tekken 8. Like, they're getting... We got, like, the review sites getting review cop... People getting, like, review copies of the game. And I'm trying to avoid spoilers. As best I can, because I want to go in fresh, as fresh as possible. As fresh as I can, having already played the uh, betas and the demo. Like my friend, like a friend of mine shared with me the opening movie of Tekken 8, and I'm like, you know what, I'm not gonna watch this, I wanna watch. I'm gonna wait until I actually boot up the full game for the first time. Bye, Sophia. To actually like watch the intro of Tekken 8, but all I've seen and I have seen just little snippets of it. No audio, but like just actual footage of it. And all I've seen is that it's very similar to, uh, I almost said Street Fighter 5. Tekken 5's the intro. Face a quest to yeah, that would that would be an insult to compare Tekken 5's intro to, intro to Street Fighter's intro because Street Fighter doesn't even have an intro, or it does, but it, they don't. Like, you know, it's only for like the first time you boot up the game. I'm glad we're. I'm glad we seem to be going back into the age where we actually get fighting game in open, opening movies. Like, I really did not like how uh, Street Fighter stopped doing fighting game intros. Like, there's not an intro for five. There's not an intro for six. Like at all, there's no intro at all for six. Are fiercely entangled. This is a different, uh... Your soul. Different music here. Battle. Fight. Uh oh No, I was trying to get away from the edge because I figured something like that would happen. Stupid lucky shot. But yeah, Tekken 8's intro looks like Tekken 5's intro from all I've heard and seen. Final and that's amazing fight. because Tekken 5 has the greatest intro ever. So very much looking forward to watching the Tekken 8 intro in its entirety. Yeah, take that, Nightmare. That's all you've got. Not even worth my breath. <laughs> oh goody, Sophia. Not Sophia, oh my goodness, that is not Sophia. That is Song Mina. Thank you, I was waiting for that.
in trust. Work final battle. Fight. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, I saw that grab coming. Cool. The Roods! Uh-oh. Get out, get out of the lava. Okay, that works. So, uh, it appears that this uh, pathway is in the shape of an S. That's neat. Now, what hey, 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 my battle. boy. Fight. I wonder if it changes if I were to get out there. Not screwed my way. Ah, yes, here we go. Alright. Who is our final of the point here? Versus Necrid. Necrid. Purveyor of darkness. Sage Fortune. conspired to arrange their battle. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Final battle. Fight! Oh man. Mm -hmm. Versus Necrid. We shall save the extra mission on Swordsman's Grave for next time. So, a couple watching, get ready for more Soul Calibur 2 Work Master work coming up later on, as well as other videos. And whatever you do, take it easy, stay safe. See you next time. Bye!